Greetings, fight fans and metalheads! I'm Funky Monkey, back with the second bout of the Robot Rumble. And what a bout it looks to be, as we're set for a war with the undisputed stars of the Mobile Suit League, at least in the After Colony Division, the Gundam Wing. Yes, today we're taking a look at a genuine anime title, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, the movie. First released in 1997 as an OVA, then again as a movie in 1998, before being localised in 2000, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz returns to the saga of the five teenage pilots, as they reunite to stop a breakaway colony from destroying the fragile peace. Featuring upgraded designs, and the characters you love, this one looks set to be a battle of attrition. So strap in and power up because we're joining the dance in the Robot Rumble's second bout, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, the movie. A year has passed since the events of Gundam Wing, and the Gundams are needed no longer. But on a faraway colony, the new Vice Foreign Minister is captured. <laughs> well, if I caught a foreign diplomat slurping their tea like that, I'd drug them too. Only difference is, I'd throw them out quick. Actually, that reminds me of a story about the Russian ambassador. And when Troa Barton investigates, he meets an old friend. <laughs> Raylina awakes to a startling revelation. My name is Marimea Kushranada. This is Marimea Kushranada Barton. Daughter of Trey's Kushranada. Also, she claims, raised by the megalomaniac Dakin Barton and groomed to be his puppet, so that he can control her while she purportedly rules the world. And why does Dakin Barton want the Earth? Hell if I know. And Katra sets out to retrieve the Gundams with his Magwanak followers. And our heroes are going to need their Gundams when Maramea declares war. Hero and Duo enter the rogue colony, only to find Troa and Wu Fei waiting for them. Are you guys doing the right thing? Well, now hold on there just a minute, Mr. Wu Fei Chen. You just asked a mouthful. Are any of us doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing by doing this show? I like to think that I am, but you can never be sure. But this battle will be settled another day. Somewhere over Earth, Dakeem Barton makes his move. As does the newest member of the Preventers, Zex Merkees. You see, in the wake of After Colony 195, the Preventers were set up to stop any more colonies going rogue or declaring war or independence. But Day Kim has a joker up his sleeve. Ah, Operation Meteor. The plan to drop an entire colony onto Earth. And we learn why poor Relina was kidnapped. In short, Relina was once queen of the entire world. For about a week, that is. Though the Barton Foundation plan to use her as a spokesperson, so that the Earth will accept their rule. <laughs> some hope. Over on the Gundam ship, Catra makes his move, and rescues the legendary mobile suits. Back on the rogue colony, it turns out that Troa was on our side the whole time, and so the Earth is spared an extinction-level collision. These megalomaniacs, if I had a penny, I'd tell ya. But Dakim escapes, and Troa still has a rep to maintain. <coughs> Hold it! And in orbit, Hero recovers the Wing Gundam and heads for Earth. But first, he'll have to convince Wu Fei. And why is Wu Fei fighting? To determine whether or not, I am not kidding, peace at the expense of innocent lives, is actually peace. I am dead, stone, serious. 
Back on the colony, Duo makes his escape. And so the stage is set for our finale, as the remaining Gundams join the fray. As does Relina, who rushes to broadcast a message of rebellion to the people. Peace is not something that is given to you. Each person must... Yeah, let's punch war in the stomach and grab hold of peace with both hands. Wait, no, hang on, that sounds wrong. But the great battle of the Gundams is a losing one. Which is odd considering that the Gundams are supposed to be made from nine vulnerable Gundanium or something like that. At least until Wing Zero unleashes his dual busters on the mansion's defences. But Dakin won't be denied. Pity his end is so ignoble then. Shot in the back by your own subordinate. Well, these men were loyal to Trace Kush Renata first. Oh yeah, he waffled a lot about dueling and honour and all that rot. But you know, he was a very well respected commander. People would follow him into the craziest battles. But anyway, you don't want to hear me waffle on about a dead guy. Denouement! And so our movie ends with the destruction of the Gundams. And a new beginning for all of our heroes. Mission complete. So that was Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz. But in the battle of the Gundam Wing versus the Robot Rumble, the last Gundam fell in the sixth round to the Robot Rumble's devastating left cross. This movie is slow. It's far too light on the robot battles and far too heavy on the poetic waffle. The plot is rather thin. Megalomaniac trains puppet. Heroes must gather for one final battle happily ever after. And the pacing is all over the place, switching from subplot to subplot and padded as anything, which is not good for a 90 minute movie. The performances, at least in English, and as much as they can be, have some warmth. Scott McNeil's duo Maxwell remaining cocky and snarky throughout, while Mark Hildreth's Hero Yui and Kirby Morrow's Troa Barton remain understated. But really, this movie is every inch the continuation of the series it was based on. A thoughtful rumination on the nature of war, peace and revolution, and the idea that war, in all its forms, is the domain of the megalomaniac or the idiot, and should be wholly and thoroughly rejected by the people. This has been Review Unit Funky Monkey, wishing you peace, love and unity, signing off. End of line. Join the heroic legion of Patreon subscribers today! You could get your name in the credits, early access to new episodes, request your favourite game, movie or anime to be reviewed, or even be in the show yourself. Sign up at my Patreon site. I'll see you there!